Hi, beginning stringers. Welcome to your first lesson. Today we are going to be talking about how to hold our violin. All right. So step one is first having your violin and this fun looking thing. This is what we call our shoulder rest. And this makes our violin a little bit more comfortable and easier to hold um, so we can play the proper way. So there's two little arms to it here. And as you can see, there is a side that is higher and a side that's lower. We're gonna take the lower side and put it on the left of our violin, okay? So low starts with L, left starts with L, low left. So that's how you can remember. So then you're gonna take the back of your violin. I've got that low side on my left side here of my violin and you're just gonna clamp it on there and then you slide or clamp the other end on so that it looks just like this. It might take a little bit of practice. I know the first time I had to put this on and it was a little tricky, but so that is our shoulder rest. So then later when we go to hold our violin, it'll sit nicely on our shoulder, okay? So every time that you put your violin away, you'll take that off. And then every time you take it out to play, you'll just put it right back on nice and easy. Make sure it's comfortable. So if you're, it's not quite comfortable to you yet, you can adjust it. But that's the basics of our shoulder rest, okay? So now holding the violin on our bodies, okay? So our violins go on the left side of our body. So as you can see, a lot's happening on the left here. So our violins go on the left. You can hold with your left hand the left side of your violin and bring it up nicely to your shoulder, okay? So as you can see, that shoulder rest is nice on my shoulder. Then we're gonna take our jaw and set it on our chin rest or jaw rest, okay? Take a minute there to get comfortable. It might feel uncomfortable the first time. As long as it's not hurting, you're probably doing it right, okay? So you just don't want any pain. It might feel uncomfortable because it is a little weird at first to hold an instrument under your chin and your jaw. That's not something we do every day. Totally fine. But this is the correct way, okay? So as long as you're not feeling any pain, you get your jaw in there and you can test yourself and see if you can do some jazz hands and not drop your violin. So a way to practice is just to slowly Bring it up, put your jaw on, carefully try. It's okay if you don't get it the first time, okay? Just take time practicing that, okay? So that's how we hold our violin. Now let's talk about plucking our strings, okay? First thing we need to know is talk about what strings we have here. So starting on the left side of our violin, the thinnest string, that is E, okay? So that we have E, then we have A, then we have D, and then the very lowest one is G. So if you're holding it here, E is closest to the ground, A is next, then D, then G. Okay, so when we're plucking our strings, we're gonna use our right hand, our pointer finger, little guys, and you're gonna pluck pretty firmly okay so don't be too shy you're not gonna break your strings I promise all right so you're plucking like this as you can see I'm pulling pretty hard I'm not using my fingernail I'm not using the tip of my finger but I'm using kind of the side here that little finger pad okay one other thing that I forgot to mention is when we are gonna use our left hand here to hold our violin, you wanna have your thumb not too far up, but just in line here. So you look, you can't even quite see my thumb, okay? And you can rest your violin like this, just holding it like this. And you wanna keep this area nice and open as if there's a little baby bird, a, baby bird, a little baby bird in there, and you don't wanna crush that baby bird. You want him to have a nice little comfy home, okay? So then you can pluck your strings holding your violin like this. All right, I hope that made sense to you all. Take some time to practice those things and I'll see you next time.